Greetings, friends, and happy summer. My name is Joshua Collier, and I am the artistic director of Barn Opera, soon to become Opera Vermont. And I'm coming to you from a different place. You see, normally uh, I make these announcements, these annual big gigantic announcements from the Barn Opera House. But uh, considering our transition into Opera Vermont and the explanation of what exactly that means, because I know you all have questions about it, I wanted to come to you from, uh, from a very special place. Uh, we are in this transition to Opera Vermont creating a consortium of theaters, of venues that exist throughout the, the state in response to a lot of emails that I've gotten from you guys saying, hey, I wish we could come to see the opera, but unfortunately, just geographically, it's not possible to do so. So in the creation of Opera Vermont, we are changing the narrative. We are turning the name of a state opera company from a place that is the most populous area in a state uh, to, in this state, a really rural state where we have people spread out all across the state in small pockets, bringing the opera to you. So the state opera company is not asking you to come to us but we are coming to you. And in order to do that, we are partnering the organization of uh, formerly known as Barn Opera, and uh, which is currently uh, Opera Vermont, is a consortium of theaters that exist in the state, very much like this one. This is the Barry Opera House in Barry, Vermont. It is a phenomenally beautiful Italian eight uh, theater. And uh, one of our theatrical partners in 2025. So I know that you have questions about the organization and what does it mean for Barn Opera and all of our brand and friends. We have so many answers for you. But I want to talk about our 2025 season in this video so that you all can be as excited as we are about the growth and about the development of opera within the state and uh, the changes that we're making to groundbreak uh, productions within the state. So you already know about our world premiere coming in 2024 in November, which is Truman and Nancy by Bill Zephyro. Fantastic piece. Definitely get tickets now. But in February of 2025, we will be at the Highland Center for the Arts in Greensboro, uh, Vermont, we will be performing an amalgam, a crazy Collier adaptation, which you're all very used to by now, of I Pagliacci. Um, we're combining some music uh, from other operas and putting it in with I Pagliacci, and we are going to be partnering with circus entities throughout the state. So it will be a circus opera in February of 2025 at the Highland Center for the Arts. Um, in May of 2025, we will be here performing Verdi's La Traviata with a fantastic cast, a fantastic group of people, and a local chorus. We know all of you Barry Montpelier center of the state people are yearning for, uh, for opera to come back to you guys. And we are excited to come back and open up the opportunity, the opportunity, <laughs> pardon me, uh, for a community chorus to join us in this venture. So if you have any interest, if you know of somebody or your cousin, sister's dog's aunt uh, wants to sing in the chorus of La Traviata in May, of 2025, please send me an email at collier at barnopera.com and we will definitely uh, find a place for you in our chorus. Uh, we love this state and we want the state to be involved in its state opera. In September, we are going to be performing at the Barn Opera House a double bill. Two operas, one of which is not well known, but the author, the composer is, uh, Puccini's first opera is Les Villi, and it was composed for a competition, a, a publisher's competition, and actually in that competition, he lost. Uh, Puccini, the, the composer of Tosca, and Madame Butterfly, and Turandot, lost, and uh, we are going to be presenting the opera that won 
which is by a composer named Tuelli. You don't know him. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, uh, an unknown quantity. Uh, in his opera La Fata del Nord, it's basically the same storyline as Le Vili, minor alterations, but similar storyline, and, uh, and it has never been performed. Uh, in the world. There's no one alive that has heard this music before, and it is fantastic. A uh, little trivia, a good friend of mine found this score in an antique store wrapped in cloth. Uh, it's that uh, that rare. So we're going to be presenting Le Vili by Puccini alongside La Fata del Nord by Zuelli. And then in November, are you guys ready for this? In November, we are going to be at the Chandler Center for the Arts in Randolph, and we are going to be producing the first time a black composer's opera will be done in the state of Vermont with a full black cast and the New England Repertory Orchestra, which is an orchestra uh, that was founded and artistic directed by our music director, Kaylin Marcel Manson. We are going to be doing William Grant Still's A Bayou Legend. It is a phenomenal piece. It is so beautiful and lyrical. William Grant Still was a contemporary of, of Gershwin in, uh, in that time period. And, uh, and he's fairly unknown at this point. I mean, he's gaining traction. Um, and I don't have to tell you why uh, it might have been possible for him to not have achieved the, uh, the status that he uh, should definitely have had. But we are taking a step in with Opera Vermont to introduce this fantastically beautiful lyrical music to the Vermont audience. We are going to be at the Chandler Center for the Arts for this performance. Then... I saw townsfolk stop to pray For at the scene of my story Wondrous things unknown to occur So we are going to be starting a region-wide explosion of music of William Grant Still, and we are so excited to do this. So those are our four main stage productions for 2025, alongside, of course, our Amal, our New Year's Eve party, and plenty of other things I'm sure that'll come up along the way. But if you like what you hear, please follow us on all social media. Send me an email. Go to operavermont.com. Go to barnopera.com. While we're in this transition period, all of this information will be found on barnopera.com and on operavermont.com. Each of the locations will take care of their own ticketing. So if you are interested in going to a Bayou Legend, you will go to the Chandler Music Center's website. If you're interested in seeing La Traviata, you'll come to the Barry Opera House's website uh, and find that those tickets. As always, we can't do this without you. We can't make this amazing art form. We can't bring it to you without the generous support of our friends and neighbors. And I thank you so much in advance for supporting us. If you have considered in the past and haven't yet, we're incredibly uh, grateful for everything. And if you have been a supporter, then thank you so much for everything that you've done to get us to this point. Please feel free to contact me at any time. My email address is collier, my last name, at barnopera.com or collier at operavermont.com. Either way, it will get to me. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask me. Uh, if you have questions about what it's going to mean for Brandon or what it's going to mean for the rest of the state, I'm here to answer because what we're doing with this transition is not ending opera, is not ending things in Brandon, but growing them. Abil making the ability for the Barn Opera House to become a community center with non-operatic things happening in the interim between the operas. So I so look forward to this season. I so look forward to seeing you at one of our fantastic venue partners. And I so look forward to you being in the house and experiencing this mind-blowing music. Thank you so much for your support of Barn Opera, of Opera Vermont, and of live opera in general. And we'll see you very soon.